Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I want to do a quick video showing you some uh, new gear that I got in the mail. I'm very excited about this. I wanted to uh, test body armor for a very long time, and I finally have some. So this is from Striker Tactical. I have a plate here, okay? This goes into plate carriers, and this is level 3A soft body armor. Uh, if you're not familiar, level 3A stops pretty much everything up to 44 Magnum. It stops the, the vast majority of handgun ammunition with, with certain exceptions, extremely high velocity rounds. Um, but we're definitely gonna be doing some testing, which is fun, so I get to shoot some things. Um, but besides this uh, plate, I also have a bulletproof vest, all right? Now this is not something you're gonna be you know, using every day, you know, if you're not a police officer or in the military or anything, but um, it's a concealable vest. All right, so you have the full front plate, you have a back plate, and uh, both plates do wrap around your side, so you do protection of your uh, organs, you know, from the side uh, impact side shots. Uh, and it is concealable. You can see underneath the jacket, especially if you're a bigger person. All right, guys, so I took it off here so you have a better view of it. All right, so this is a concealable vest. You can wear this underneath your uh, clothing. Obviously, it's going to be optimal to have some kind of a jacket or loose-fitting garment over top of it so it doesn't print. Um, very easy to use. Just has Velcro on the sides. All right, just slip it over your head and then Velcro the front. Um, it is still brand new, so it's quite stiff. These sides conform to your body after you wear it. And of course, the plates themselves are removable. There's a zipper in the front here so you can wash the, uh, the little housing here as it, it's white. So of course, it's gonna get dirty, sweaty, all kinds of stuff, uh, dirty and grimy, so you can wash that. But of course, you have to take the plates out to wash it. Um, really interesting. Like I said, this is not something I plan to wear every day, um, but it's a really good piece of gear to have just in case. For all the preppers out there, for all the people who um, who buy firearms for home protection and people who buy firearms for self-defense, this is uh, definitely a big consideration uh, if you feel like you're ever going to be in a situation where you need to defend yourself. Maybe not out and about, but you know, at home, in the homestead, um, it's good to have some kind of, uh, of armor. Um, not to say you hear a bump in the middle of the night, you're going to throw on a bulletproof vest, but uh, there's definitely certain situations that people would like to plan for. Now, one thing that's pretty interesting to me is the cost of stuff like this. Body armor is not as expensive as I thought it would be. Um, I thought a bulletproof vest would be like $1,000, $2,000. I really had no idea. Um, these are $300. $300 for a level 3A uh, concealable unit. These plates, of course, you can put these in plate carriers. These are about $100 a piece. Um, really, really interesting. So just want to give you a heads up on this. I think this is an awesome item to have. As far as legalities, uh, here in Pennsylvania, it is completely legal. There are no laws against purchasing or owning or even using uh, body armor. But uh, of course, you're going to want to check out your you know, local and state laws. So it should go without saying, but something like this uh, protects your vitals, all right? Your organs, your heart, your lungs. Um, does not prevent you from getting shot in the arm, shot in the face, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, something like this, it doesn't make you invincible, okay? It just uh, greatly increases the chances of surviving uh, a gunshot wound or a couple gunshot wounds. So anyway, just uh, very cool, very interested to see what this can actually do. So stay tuned in the future when I can get up and do some more shooting. I will certainly evaluate this and shoot it. We'll start, you know, small calibers and work our way up until we can get something to punch through this thing. So anyway, there you go. If you're interested where I got this, again, it came from Striker Tactical. I forget what their exact website is, but I'll post it down in the uh, description. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.